main topic today. And our third main topic today is this. So we had the Spider-Man uh, Into the Spider-Verse movie. That was also 2019, I believe. Man, I mean, that might have been 2018. Um, but it was 2018. Yeah, okay. Um, but it introduced us to Nick Cage's version of Spider-Man Noir, mm-hmm. which was great. And we all love Nick Cage. Um, and we're still, you know... Waiting for sure for that cage essence, but we do have some interesting news, like really interesting news, um, coming to us from this article over at Variety, and that is this: a Spider-Man Noir live action series is in the works at Amazon. Now, everything about this is confusing. Let's read a little bit. A Spider-Man Noir live-action series is in the works at Amazon. Variety has learned exclusively the untitled series will follow an older, grizzled superhero in the 1930s New York City. An individual with knowledge of the project says that the show will be set in its own universe and that the main character will not be Peter Parker. This is the second known project based on the Sony-controlled Marvel characters, Amazon Prime Video, and MGM Um, It was previously announced that Amazon was moving forward with the series Silk Spider Society from show. I forgot completely about that Mm -hmm. um, with several other shows in the works. It is unknown at this time which other Marvel characters will be featured in other Amazon shows. Though Sony currently controls over 900, 900 such characters associated with the Spider-Man universe. (laughs) <laughs> right. Um, th- yeah, and they go on to get in a little bit more information about um, the series. I just want to talk about, you know, first of all, how wild this is and what this means. Um, we had someone comment on the channel a while back ago mentioning, you know, about we did a video about uh, multiple Spider-Man or multiple Batman. He made a comment. and He's like, look, dude, if we live in a world where we can have five Batmans in the same year then why can't audiences have five Spider-Mans and understand that they're all different and not in the same For world? Sure. Well, guess what, buddy? It looks like we're getting that dream. And we're living it, my friend. And, it and yeah, sure. and that is awesome. This is really exciting because as a real fan like us, you know, and the guy who made that comment, we know, you know, we know the difference. So it right. never is going to bother us. Give us as many spots. I don't care. This is Peter Parker, Earth 38. This is Peter Parker, Earth 72. This right. is, I mean, we could give a damn. Give us all the Spider-Man right. we can get. Bring Tobey Maguire back. Let's get in the quadrilogy. Bring uh, uh, Garfield back. Let's end the trilogy. Let, let's make a Miles Morales Spider-Man live action. I've been saying that for years. How have we not done that? How, how do we not... How are we not flooded with Spider-Man? Right. If we are with Batman, how are we not flooded with Spider-Man? So I'm glad to have this news. Plus, this is going to be different. If you know anything about me, I'm a huge fan of all things black and white. Thank you, The Twilight Zone and Rod Serling. And this is probably going to all be set in black and white. It's also going to be a period piece set in the 1930s in New York City. That is crazy. This reminds me, this is like some gangs in new york shit i don't know what this is gonna be like but this is awesome now i there is no word on whether nick cage would play this and i doubt honestly that he would um but you know if yeah look i want him to play this just as bad as anybody else does so but lucas you're hearing this um what are your thoughts uh of a spider-man noir series coming to amazon a live action one and then also what are your thoughts on it seeming like there's a lot more 900 potential Mm -hmm. characters um that they could be spitting out to amazon yeah um i mean the spider-verse is huge right like there's Literally. nothing is I, right yeah i mean they own the rights Sprawling. to one character and then all of a sudden you know they own the rights to all of them ever basically because everything everywhere all at once pretty much right but um yeah no it's just like who was it was it louis louis or who who was it that said that uh you know if we can have five batmans in a year oh i don't know it was on a comment in one of our videos well the, absolutely right you know what i mean like we are not dumb, you know, like the the 
season or the series finale, uh, or the last season of The Flash right now is is airing or about to air or whatever it is, and we're about to get a Flash movie that's totally different, but also like one of the Flashes has definitely appeared in the TV. You know what I mean? Like people are not dumb. Like right. people are the people that are watching those shows and stuff like that. They understand what it is, you know, and they know the lore. Enough, or you know, we'll get caught up Look, on man, it. Man, if you're that confused, just understand that the one that's black and white and in the 30s is different. It's different, right? <laughs> right. But that being said, that I love the premise. I love Spider-Man Noir. You know what I mean? Like it is, it is great. I mean, it would be cool to have Nick Cage back. I doubt we are going to get it. Um, but whatever it is, like I want to. I, I want a full-blown noir, like, detective Spider-Man. You know what I mean? Like, give me it black and white. Give me him, like, you know, beating up mobsters and stuff like that. Like, that. this sounds awesome. This sounds really cool. Yeah, and, and like you said, very detective-style, Sherlock right, exactly. holmes kind of right, thing going right, on very, here. But also, I mean, you've got, it's a noir, right? It's right, black, black and white. And white so it's like, right. Have you ever seen the episode of It's Always Sunny, The Janitor Mops Twice? You know the black and white one. Oh yeah, where, yeah, yeah. So he's always talking like yeah, right, right, right. You know, and the guy yeah, and, and then and then they could also do you know uh, in this pantheon of, mm. of uh, nine hundred characters. Yeah. You know, they could come up with these you know very different supernatural kind of creatures. I mean, Dracula may be alive then, or right, werewolves, exactly. or you know who exactly. knows what's Something going that on is fitting for for the, the time. Right, right. right. I mean, it could be what, it, but it could be whatever too, because it's other world. I mm -hmm. mean, for all we know there was a zombie apocalypse in the 1930s new york on earth 42 you know what i mean i mean right we just don't know right so, exactly so that, so it's exciting because this is going to be a completely different story and this is what i've been saying man this is why i wanted sony to take back control of spider-man and give us i don't need to be 40 other characters in this world like it's just him this is our guy we have spider-man noir he's our hero and i'm happy with that and i'm excited for this series guys you're hearing about this series coming to amazon a live action spider-man noir series um what do you guys think about this are you excited for it do you think this is unnecessary definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below